right, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're going to talk about French fries because French fries just don't go away. Uh, we've been making these forever. This book by my, my dad and my mom. My mom did all the recipes, all the gray there. Uh, in 2007, they have a recipe in here, and we have just come to totally, what do we say? Revamp, no. remake it in lots of ways. Different temperature, different seasonings. But the point is, keep trying with French fries. You'll, you'll, you'll get the right potato, the right spice, the right temperature. What you don't need is oil. Exactly. If that's just our point. baking them amazing. Okay. And there's different ways to get the potato into the oven to bake it. For instance, Jane, <laughs> last night we took Yukon Gold potatoes and I just, uh, actually, my wonderful French fry cutter. Which is, wait, wait. We put away for our Christmas party so people didn't bump into it. So I didn't have it. So I just cut them up and cooked them at 450 for about half an hour. Did you cut them up just like the I cut them just, just like, like this. They were so amazingly good. I want to show And we them. ate them piping hot out of the oven. And my husband, who usually likes ketchup or something on them, not, I mean, we could have eaten 10 trays of them. They were so good. We probably could have. We could have. So let's just quickly show you how our French fry cutter works. Anne's, Anne's technique is to use a French fry cutter. I use that occasionally, but I often have batch cooked my potatoes and sweet potatoes ahead of time so that they're cooked. I don't have to worry about having them in the oven long enough so they get cooked through and through. They're already been baked. So here is a potato that's already been baked. You can use any kind of potato you have. We love the Yukon Gold. Like my mom said, they're really moist inside. And also the key thing about potatoes is the skin. You've got to eat the skin. Yes. And Yukon Gold skins are thin and uh, are particularly easy to eat. Yes, they are. So just cube them up however you'd like. These are already cooked. So basically what I'm doing here is just we're warming up the potatoes. So the cook time has already happened, kind of. I mean, you're just gonna, these are, mine are probably gonna cook, I don't know, 12 or 15 minutes, 10, I don't even know. We'll see how long it takes. Um, and we both throw a little seasoning on ours. What do you like to put on yours? Whatever, here, here are my potatoes and I would put some onion powder on them. Um, just a little, or I actually use, I usually use the granules. And then um, this is just the original Mrs. Dash that you can put on. People put all kinds of things. I mean, people put chili powder. Chili powder. Uh, cayenne, and, probably. Uh, cayenne is not bad, actually. And and if you don't do anything, they're still amazingly good. Want, you, want some garlic powder? I did. Oh, you put, did. On, you put onion powder. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to have garlic powder, too. Gosh, these are going to be really good. Ugh. Um, Oniony, garlicky. Okay, and um, while we're putting these in the oven, I also want to just mention that I do the same with sweet potatoes. This is a cooked, look at this, it's a cooked sweet potato. Look how flexible that is. And I just I batch cook them and just have them at home. So here's what a cooked sweet potato looks like. You can leave the skin on or off. This one baked itself away from the skin, so it's kind of convenient to not use that. But just cut it up, it's beautiful and just make it into whatever size you want. Because it's already cooked, it doesn't really matter how how big, how small, whatever shape these are. So let's just add one of these, whoops, onto here. And these are ready to go. We've seasoned them how we like, and the oven is on 450. Uh, my mom's gonna cook for probably 30 minutes for her raw uh, potatoes, is that right? Yeah. And then mine, I'm just gonna kinda keep checking to see how long they need to be in the oven. Okay. Mine are done. Ooh. Jay's have been in for about 18 minutes-ish. Um, and, and I love mine with ketchup. Oh, I like mine just plain. Okay. Pick whichever one you want. That looks crispy like you no, like it. this looks crispy. Oh, <laughs> she loves crispy. I like squishy. But I like squishy with some ketchup. Mm. It's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Try one squishy one. Try it. It's perfect. No, it's so moist. Try it. Go for one that's a little squishier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, it's baked. I'm just totally double dipping because you don't like ketchup. It's so well, moist. It's so good. The so, key thing about 
all these potatoes because you've got to eat them hot right out of the oven. Oh, exactly. And what we've done for, for when we've had actually groups of people is we just literally take them out of the oven and just pass them around the table. Batch and, by batch, yeah, because yeah, they're, they're not that because great. Because you just... When, when they're not hot, they're not great. Okay, so mm. pre-cooked and then... Crispy. Oh, good. Pre-cooked and then done this way at about 400. The oven didn't get to 450 yet, so 400 for about 18 minutes. No, but I tell you, it also works if I have a high oven, if you just cut those potatoes, put them right in the oven, take them out when they just are so crisp. She made me cut them when they're uncooked. Yeah, cut, yeah, cut them out. Yeah, mine were, mine were cooked. Okay. And uh, eat them right away. Ooh, wonderful. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about hers in a second. Back in a flash. <laughs> Everything's out of the oven. Uh, the sweet potato fries are done. They were in for about 25 minutes. Yours were like for 30 minutes at 450. And we put them in a bowl to differentiate. Hers started off as the raw potato, just cut up. And you've got to cook it right away and cook it until it's as crispy as you like. These could even be crispy. And you got to eat it right away. Can we eat it right away? Eat it right away. Can we, eat, can we try it? Eat okay. it right away, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna dip mine in chocolate. Um, cho dip it in chocolate. Did you hear that? Chocolate. <laughs> I, ketchup may as well be chocolate sometimes. The way that people are obsessed with it. So here's our crispy on the outside. Can you hear my crisp? And they're nice and moist on the inside. Oh, there's our timer telling us nothing. Everything was done. <laughs> now let's try. Let's try the sweet potato fries. These look really good. These look really good. Um. Mm. Mm. What's so nice about these? They're so soft. Well, they're. They're pre-cooked, they're mm. pre-cooked, and they're, they're delicious. They're so good. So go, make your sweet potato fries out of your cooked, batch cooked things or out of your raw potatoes, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna offer this to our cameraman. Hey, have fun, make them on your own. Mm. Goodbye. Bye. Have there you go. feast on all kinds of potatoes, cooked all kinds oh, of ways. Oh, try purple ones too, purple potatoes. And, and cover them with all your, anything you like. So good. All right, bye.